So, let's say our differential equation is, so let's have some examples. Let's say we have x to the fourth plus 2y differential x minus uh, x differential y is equal to 0. Okay? So, first, distribute the differential x. So, you'll have x to the fourth dx plus 2y differential x minus x differential y is equal to 0. So, if I will, uh, we can see here that y is the dependent variable. Okay? So, therefore, if y is the dependent variable, then uh, the or the standard form will apply, which is uh, equal to dy plus, let's see if we can transform this differential equation into this, dy plus p of x y dx is equal to q of x dx. Okay? So let's just uh, change the color right there. Now, what I will do, is I will uh, multiply 1 over x, no? negative 1 over x, for this to be uh, removed from my differential y. Okay? So I will arrive at negative uh, x cubed differential x minus 2 times 1 over x y dx and then plus dy is equal to 0. Let me rearrange the terms. I'll have uh, differential y minus uh, 2 over x times y dx is equal to x cubed differential x. Okay? So, as you can see here, my p of x is equal to negative 2 over x. My q of x is equal to x cubed. Okay? So, it now fits the standard form. As we have discussed in the previous slide, if it fits the standard form, then therefore, you have the integrating factor, which is e raised to the integral of p of x dx. So, apply that. e raised to the integral of negative 2x differential x. Okay? Negative 2x differential x over x. Let us solve that. So that will be equal now to negative 2 ln x or e raised to ln raised to uh, ln uh, x raised to negative 2 or the integral factor is simply equal to x raised to negative 2. If I will multiply x raised to negative 2 to my differential equation, it will now become 1 over x squared. So that is 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared dy, or let's, uh, let's just use 1, uh, let's just use x raised to negative 2. Let's just use x raised to negative 2, so x raised to negative 2 differential y, minus uh, 2 x raised to negative 3 y differential x is equal to x differential x. Okay? So, as you can see here, so, again, no, let's go back to our definition page, that the left side of the equation is simply the differential of y times the integrating factor. So, therefore, applying that definition or applying that uh, standard form, then, therefore, the left side of the equation here is simply the differential of y times my integrating factor, or times uh, e raised to p of x dx, which is equal to x raised to negative 2. Okay? And this is uh, simply x dx. So, let us uh, check that before we, before we do something else. Let us check that the differential of y times x raised to negative 2 is equal to this one. Okay? So, y... What is the uh, differential of uh, x squared? x raised to negative 2, I mean. So that is equal to negative 2 x raised to negative 3 differential x plus x raised to negative 2 differential y. So what I have produced here 
is also the left side of the equation. Okay? You have x raised to negative 2 differential y. This would be that term. You have negative 2x raised to negative 3y differential x. That would be this term. Okay? So, integration will now be very, very simple. Okay? So, again, I have the differential of y x raised to negative 2 is equal to x differential x. So, if I will now integrate, then this is simply y x raised to negative 2 is equal to x squared over 2. Okay? So, we add the arbitrary constant plus c. And then, uh, let's multiply the equation by 2 and transpose uh, the this x squared over 2 so that we can equate it to x. So, I will have 2y over x squared uh, minus x squared is equal to c. Okay, and that is my final answer. Okay, another example. Another example. Example number 2. So, example number 2, let's say I have y prime. y prime is equal to cosecant x minus y cotangent x. Okay? So, if I put this into differential form, this would be dy is equal to cosecant x differential x minus y cotangent x differential x. So, I'll have dy plus y cotangent x differential x is equal to cosecant x differential x. So, does this, does, uh, this fit the form dy plus p of x y dx is equal to q of x dx? The answer is yes. The answer is simply yes, no? We could see that this is our q of x, and we could see that cotangent x is our p of x. Okay? So, we will now solve the integrating factor. v is equal to e raised to p of x dx. Okay? So, e raised to the integral of cotangent x dx. Now, what is cotangent x? Uh, what is cotangent x? That is uh, equal to cosine x over sine x. So I have cosine x dx over sine x. And uh, we can apply the logarithm formula here. So therefore, this will simply be ln of sine x, ln of sine x. Okay? And this will ultimately be equal to sine x. So therefore, this is our integrating factor. So, if I multiply that to my uh, differential equation, no? so I will have sine x dy plus y times uh, sine x. Let me transform cotangent into cosine x over sine x dx and then sine x times cosecant x dx. So, there are terms that I can cancel here. Sine x can be cancelled. And since cosecant x is equal to uh, 1 over sine x as well, then therefore, this term would be simply equal to 1. So what do I now have? I have uh, sine x, sine x differential y, plus y cosine x dx is equal to differential x. So by definition, this uh, left side of the equation is simply equal to y times sine x, the differential of y times sine x dx. No? And we could mentally do the uh, differential of y sine x and we will arrive at this one. Okay, So you can pause the video and check whether you will arrive at this uh, particular uh, expression. Okay, So you have uh, the differential of uh, y sine x is equal to dx. So that is now 
very elementary to solve. And we will now arrive at our, at our final answer. So integrating, so I have y sine x minus x is equal to c. So that is my final answer.